Well, Zimbabwean-born chef Tapiwa is in the kitchen with me. In fact, I'm in the kitchen with him as he's about to take me through a traditional dish that you need to help me pronounce. So what are we making today? Today we're making muriwo. Muriwo. Unedovi. Unedovi. Yes. Une he said there's a do. Dovi. 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 Yes, there we go. Muriwe. Unedovi. Perfect. There we go. So what is that if you had to explain it to someone like, what is this dish? So essentially, it's our ongoing obsession with peanut butter Zimbabweans. Mm. And you take some kind of leafy green. So we're talking either kale, spinach, amaranth, uh, bitter leaf, uh, cow, cow pea leaves, whatever leafy green you enjoy. You cook that together in a spicy chili tomato based sauce with some peanut butter at the very end. Oh, well, that sounds amazing. So take us through this recipe. What would you start with? Uh, about two tablespoons of some oil. Um, olive will do, but canola, sunflower, put that in your mildly, medium kind of heat. Um, and when I start off sauteing your onion, your garlic, and your chili, let it get a little bit. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now we we like that sound. Yeah. Hey. Mm. You want to caramelize mm. them a little bit, start getting a bit translucent. We're talking about maybe one to two minutes. Okay. On a medium heat or so. There we go. And then while that's going, you'll be chopping up your veg, your tomato, peanut butter is already made for you. Okay. So and then easy. is this a very spicy dish? Because the peanut butter is something that quite, it's, it's good at neutralizing spicy flavors. Yes, it is actually. Um, the peanut butter isn't there to shut down the spice really, because you can make this without the spice. It's more about thickening the sauce and okay. also adding a bong of flavor. Ooh. Yeah. And do you have to use peanut butter? Can you play around and be a little bit bougie with some almond <laughs> butter, macadamia nut butter, or is peanut butter the best? Traditionally, it would be peanut butter, okay. but I've been known to mess around with recipes quite a bit. So okay. whatever nut takes your fancy, what you prefer, go for it. There yeah. we go. And of course, this is a vegetarian dish. So is this something you would add additional protein to? Because I know you're getting your protein from your peanut butter. You could also use some kind of legume. So okay. like uh, maybe even more peanuts or uh, kidney beans, um, maybe black beans, whatever you're in the mood for. Maybe. But... Uh, Peanut butter will be my deal. Your go to. Yeah, Your sure. go to. Okay. Now I'm just going to pop in the leaves themselves. I'm going to saute this for another maybe two to three minutes, roll them down before we add in our tomato and. I know for someone that doesn't butter. eat a lot of greens, they're probably looking at this and be like, that is a lot. <laughs> but it disappears so quickly. Exactly. Yeah. There we go. All right. Crank up the heat a little bit more there. Get the heat going. And then traditionally, what would this be served with? So classically, you would having it with some kind of uh, sadza. And sadza is a Shona name for pub or ugali. And we're talking like either maize meal, even wheat flour or millet flour or sorghum flour. Make that a nice solid pub and have that with your veg, yeah. There we go, there we go. So keep it very vegetarian still. Oh, yes. So if you've just tuned in, we've got this recipe available for you. It's on the Espresso website. You can find it at expressoshow.com. And we are busy making a muriwo une dovi. Yes. Am I saying it correctly? Yes, you are. I'm just very slow at pronouncing it. You, 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 it just rolls off the tongue for you. Oh, I've had 35 years of practice. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up with this. Is this yeah. something your family would cook? This is a pretty standard dish, standard. Uh, maybe like three, four times a week. Oh, wow. Either for okay. lunch or for supper. Yeah, for sure. I didn't realize it would be that often. Yeah, it's just like, I imagine, um, like a biryani. Uh, okay, okay. The, in, in the Cape, uh, in the Cape uh, context, I'll say yeah. biryani is quite a common staple, right? True, true, yeah. true, true. Okay. Amazing. All and right. this is quite a quick and easy recipe. And this is what I love about, especially when we delve into different cultures and we're exploring different languages. And Africa is so rich and diverse in that. The food is incredible. And there's a lot of crossover as well. There is a you, lot of crossover. Yeah, you'll find if you go to Uganda, uh, Rwanda, a little bit of Kenya as well, you're going to find a lot of peanut butter based dishes. Okay. Um, and that stems from some, some, some Zim influence. No, the other way around. Really? Yeah. Has Zim taken it from Kenya? Well, we've we migrated down from that part of the world <laughs> and brought some of the ideas down with us. Okay, yeah. okay. Here so I have added my tomatoes. <laughs> so you've added your tomatoes. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. I'm just very intrigued to taste this, especially with the peanut butter added. There we go. And this is the type of dish you constantly have to give attention. You can't just leave it on the pot and... Yeah, but luckily it's only for like five minutes. Only yeah, five minutes. so I don't know. Constantly is not really a problem in that context. Okay. Right? Yeah. Well, we are making Moria, Moriwo 
une dolvi. There we go. If you have just tuned in, Tapiwa is showing us how to make it. The recipe is available on expressoshow.com. I'm going to shift over and I have to taste this as you add the peanut butter because we have a finished version right here. I'm going to tuck in and give you my honest take on this. I need to get some green, some tomato, some of the sauce. All right, what do we think? This is incredible. I love the flavors coming through. You taste the peanut butter, but it's not overpowering. It's a part of it's, the dish. It's, it's part not of the dish. dish. Yeah. There we go. Okay, well, breakfast is served. If you would love to make this recipe, you can find it on expressoshow.com. Mm, this is good. Excellent.